Hi there, my name is Nancy Eske and I'm the Special Programs Coordinator here at North Fort Myers High School. I'm here to talk to you briefly about the process for applying to the Cambridge ACE program. One thing that colleges are looking for in their applicants is evidence that they have taken an academically rigorous course load throughout their time in high school. The Cambridge ACE program here at North Fort Myers High School is definitely a great way to ensure that this is the case, while still allowing students the flexibility to explore courses and subject matter that they have a genuine interest and passion for. In general, Cambridge ACE stands for Cambridge Advanced International Certificate of Education, and it requires students to study subjects within three broad curriculum areas, the math and sciences, languages, and the arts and humanities. The Cambridge ACE program offers students a number of notable benefits, including a rigorous but flexible academic schedule, the opportunity to earn more than 45 total college credits, as well as the opportunity to earn their ACE diploma, which provided that the requisite 100 hours of community service or paid work hours is completed, automatically qualifies students for the top or full Bright Future Scholarship. You can learn more about the Cambridge ACE program on our website under prospective students within the ACE information portal. Once here, if you scroll down, you'll find a brief description of the process and a list of important dates and deadlines. A little bit further up, you'll also find our ACE night quick sheet, as well as our ACE and arts frequently asked questions document. And then if you scroll down a little bit further, we have several um, testimonials from some of our current and former ACE students. So how then do you apply for the Cambridge ACE program here at North? Prior to submitting your, submitting your application, you must first register your student for high school within the West Zone with the Lee County School District during their open enrollment period. Please be sure to select North Fort Myers High School as your number one choice. If you are new to the Lee County School District, so this would be for anyone who is either moving from a private or charter school or anyone who might be relocating to Lee County from another county or state, and you will be attending a Lee County public school for the 2024-25 school year, there is the option to pre-register your child prior to the open enrollment period. This will allow you to create a focused parent portal, rank schools for the upcoming lottery, and submit your special programs applications. Information regarding the pre-registration process for all students who are new to the Lee County School District is available on the district's website under student enrollment. And then if you scroll down, there's gonna be this tile for registration for the 2024-25 school year. Uh, K through 12. So if you click on that, it'll bring you to a new screen. Where you can find some additional information. There'll be a short video, a little bit of information about who, for whom pre-registration is an option, what the benefits of pre-registering uh, pre your student for high school might be, what documents you will need, and then uh, the option to register online. And then of course, there's also a means for you to contact the district if you have any additional questions. Once you have registered your student with Lee County and you have created your Focus Parent Portal, complete the Special Programs application, which will be available via Focus, and you're going to submit that between Tuesday, January 16th and Friday, January 26th. Now, this is new for us this year, but this single document is going to serve as the application for both of our special programs, uh, so both the Cambridge ACE program as well as the Center for Arts and Media. So if you only wish to apply for the Cambridge ACE program, please only fill out the information associated with that program. If you are a current Lee County School District student, your student's cumulative GPA and most recent FAST ELA and math ELA and math test scores will automatically populate and focus. This, to our uh, knowledge, is going to be your student's seventh grade PM3. If you are new to the Lee County School District, you will need to provide this academic data separately. More information regarding this process will be available on the Lee County School District student enrollment website as we get closer to the official application period. In the meantime, uh, we encourage you to start collecting the following items. You'll need report cards for the past two years, as well as this year's semester one report card, um, your student's cumulative middle school GPA, and then you will also need their most recent standardized test scores. Acceptance and denial notifications will then be viewable on your Focus Parent Portal on Thursday, February 15th. If you are accepted, you will need to submit your letter of intent 
via your Focus Parent Portal by Friday, February 23rd, in order to secure your seat within the Cambridge ACE program here at North. Now, as mentioned previously, this special programs document is going to be the application for both of our special programs. So if you want to apply for both programs, please do so on this one single document. You can also apply to multiple Cambridge ACE programs within the West Zone as well. Just please keep in mind that once you are accepted into one or more Cambridge ACE programs within the West Zone, you'll need to submit only one letter of intent for the school that you wish to attend for the 2024-25 school year. And then of course, if you are accepted into both the Cambridge ACE program, as well as the Center for Arts and Media, and you want to participate in both, you absolutely can. Just make sure that you submit individual letters of intent for both of those programs. I hope this helps to provide some clarity. Please feel free to navigate through our ACE information portal at your leisure. While we hope that we have been able to address the majority of your questions about the Cambridge ACE program here at North Fort Myers High School, as well as the application process, you may find that you still have some questions within the next several days. Please be, feel free to contact me via email or by phone here at the school, and I will be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Myself, Mrs. Diggs, and the rest of the North Fort Myers High School faculty and staff, we wish you the best of luck in your search, and we look forward to welcoming you into our Red Knight family in the future. Thank you.